More Seeds of Hope, Stories for Lent. Today's story seed is Into the Oven. From the book of Daniel, chapter 3, verses 19 and 20. King Nebuchadnezzar ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Yeah, okay. Uh, yep, I gotta go. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay? Sure. Bye. Let's listen to today's story seed. He knew he hadn't hit his goals for the year. He had discussed this with his boss, who was behind him 100%. They were taking a long-term approach as they tried to woo some of the top clients from the industry. It seemed like a solid enough plan and they were making progress. But last month, when the quarterly numbers were reported to the central office, his boss got fired. Late last night, he received a text to report to his manager first thing in the morning. He was watching TV with his wife when he read the text. I'm about to be fired, he said. You're kidding. They just sent you that in a text? No, he said, I've, I've been told to report to my new manager first thing in the morning. I'm pretty sure that can mean only one thing. They're gonna let me go as soon as I arrive. His wife said, let's pray about this. They held hands and closed their eyes and prayed, Lord, Help us to trust you and to get through this situation in these uncertain times. Going up in the elevator in the morning, he was surprisingly calm. When he sat down in his manager's office, she smiled at him. I'm sorry I have to do this, but we have to let you go. We appreciate your work over the last seven years. A security guard stepped into the office. Officer Maxwell will accompany you while you empty your desk and leave the building. There are boxes available in the storage closet if you need them. Thanks, he said. It felt odd to him, but as he was emptying his desk drawer, he, he felt a sense of gratitude. He wasn't scared about his future. It was time to find something new. Later that day, he told his wife, it was as if there was a wall of protection around me. I thought I would be angry, depressed, distraught, but no, I found myself thankful and confident that something better will soon arrive. For those of us who have been fired from a job, it can be overwhelmingly painful. Sometimes there's anger at the company or a specific boss. Sometimes there's anger at oneself. Almost always there's worry about the future. It's a highly stressful time, but people get through it and they often find that they end up in a better situation than the one they left. Still though, the heat is on when anyone gets fired. Now this is different from 
the scriptural oven that King Nebuchadnezzar put Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into. That one was white hot and designed to be a penalty for not obeying the king and refusing to worship his statue god. And yet, there are similarities. Many of us wish we could be like those three brave, pure souls that the fire could not harm, because their belief and trust in God was so strong. We may observe that our faith isn't that strong or pure. Sometimes we may think that we are going to be thrown into the oven and we won't survive. And worse yet, we don't deserve to survive. Yet, the closer you get to God, the more comfort you will find. It's not that your life will be easy, but you will find a way to make it through the most difficult situations. God is watching, encouraging, and will even be with you to stay with you even in the oven. Now, let's take 30 seconds to water the seed. Yeah, sure, yeah, I was just talking to some friends. No, yeah, sure, I can. I can. When has God helped you through a difficult time?